So I just saw the trailer for the new Power Rangers movie, and I gotta say, without a doubt, it looks like absolute horse shit. First off, Jason the Red Ranger is an angsty teen from the wrong side of the tracks with issues. Before I get into this review, all I'm gonna say is look, I liked the show when I was a kid. I was four when it debuted. I was a diehard fan. I had all the toys, and I'm not exaggerating. I still have all the fucking toys. I dressed up like them for Halloween. I had the videotapes, the video games. I was like the definition of a Power Rangers kid. But at the same time, I've outgrown the Power Rangers. I don't hold on to them like some people and feel like I'm entitled to whatever. So I'm basically going to review this movie as how it looks as a movie, but I'm also going to review it with the knowledge that I have as a Power Ranger kid. Meaning, if shit seems off... Why adapt a Power Rangers movie if you basically just want to use the name? If not, just just tell people you just want to use the fucking name. So, without further ado, I'm going to review this fucking trailer. So the first thing we see is Jason going and being put in detention, which looks straight out of the Breakfast Club, and his dad goes, oh, the other weirdos and criminals and losers, or whatever he says, and all the Power Rangers are in this class, this detention hall, which is wrong first off because they were all like goody two-shoe kids which i guess that doesn't translate to 2016 but they weren't all pieces of shit i mean they're more like bulk and skull than they are the fucking power rangers second angel grove is supposed to be in like southern california with a beach this looks like washington state or oregon looks like twilight billy's black that's not how the show used to go then we see Kimberly cut off her hair and look like a punk rock chick, which, you know, from the show I used to watch, that's not how any of them act. They're not impulsive people. They don't just do shit and give in to peer pressure. They were kind of boring, but that was kind of the allure of the show. Like, they picked these kids because they were the best of both, like, body and spirit. I don't know. I'm just going on. This, this trailer's fucking garbage. Then we see the Rangers, or at this point they're still a group of assholes, and they're in a fucking rock quarry, and they come upon a wall with the power morphers in it, and I'm just going to go off on a tangent for a minute. Back when they released the shitty images of the suits, the power morphers looked like little rocks. Like, the Power Rangers were always kind of cool. They had technology, they had robots, they had guns and cannons and swords and shit. Now they look like a fucking amalgamation of Iron Man, the Giver, and Transformers. And realistically, why the fuck is Billy taking dynamite and shit and blowing up the wall? I know it's trying to make him look like he's a genius, and Billy is a genius, but Billy wasn't that kind of kid. He wasn't blowing up shit. He probably would have said something along the lines of, you know, guys, I don't think we should do this. It's against the law. Yeah, it'd be boring, but it's true to the Power Rangers. That's what I just want. Like, actually, I don't want anything. I don't even want this movie to be made, but if I have to sit through it for the show, I at least want something true to fu uh, fucking form. You know, they kept Iron Man pretty true to form. They didn't try to make him young and hip. He's just an old white guy. Thank God they didn't change that. Then the kids get superpowers, which never happened in the Power Rangers. They were just normal kids, and then they put on the suits, and then they had powers. But they weren't breaking sinks and, you know, flailing around the room destroying shit like Superman. I mean, they even jump across a fucking chasm and float across the Power Rangers could never do that. They're just, like I said, people in suits. And the command center is an underground cave, which... Okay. It was just kind of out in the middle of the desert in the original show, which is cool. Uh, this cave looks aesthetically pleasing. I just don't get it. But whatever. I don't even get why they're there. They just find these things and it's going to take them to that. At least before Zordon and Alpha picked them and chose them to be the... The Power Rangers. This just seems like, oh, we found these magic rocks, and now they bring us here. Uh, maybe I'm nitpicking at this point. And while I'm on the subject of nitpicking, this thing looks like it's Chronicle. So basically it's Chronicle Rangers, and all they're trying to do is appeal to the teen demographic, but here's the thing I keep harping on on the regular show. The teen demographic didn't grow up with this shit. It's not really for them. It's like if they made a He-Man movie and expected 25-year-olds to get jazzed up for it. Like, you didn't grow up with He-Man. To a lot of people like me, I mean, He-Man was on before I was born. He-Man's kind of gay looking. It's just a buff dude and with a shitty haircut and a fucking furry leotard. Like, He-Man's not cool to me. And I'm pretty sure the people that they're marketing this movie towards feel the same way about Power Rangers as I feel about He-Man. 
And then in the final shot, you see them around the Zordon tube. I don't know. There's just a... It's just they're in a fucking blue room, and they put their hands together, and energy happens, and they morph. And the shitty costumes appear. So, if you can't tell by the five minutes of me rambling on, I don't like this trailer. I don't even think it looks good as an actual film. Barring the Power Ranger shit, it doesn't look like a good movie. It looks hokey and angsty, and it looks like it's for people that are either, one, depressed with their lives and want to relive the excitement of Power Rangers, so they're going to project all this energy onto this movie trailer. Like, oh, this is going to be just like when I was a kid. I'm going to feel like I was a kid, you know, when shit was going right for me. You know, that's really terrible that people... You know, they look at these trailers and they're like, oh, it's just like when I was a kid. And, you know, that's not going to solve your problems. You're going to go pay to support the shitty movie. And I'm calling it shitty now fucking five months in advance. I think it looks terrible. And I don't think it's going to... It's going to be mildly successful. It's not going to be Deadpool's February record. It's not going to be anything for a winter record. It's just going to be kind of there. This movie would have no chance in hell in the summer. But they're putting it out in the, uh, the winter... And I'm guessing they think that's going to, you know, bring people in. But I personally feel like this. I'm in that key demographic. I'm not saying they need to make it for me specifically. But they need to make it appeal to, like, people that watch the show and then people that are younger. Power Rangers was never realistic and gritty and dark. I mean, very few episodes even took place at night. It was kind of like, oh, we're going to go to school in the day. We're going to fight evil till 530. And then we're going to go home and do our homework. Like, the Power Rangers weren't really... I mean, it's a kid's show above all else. It's not some thing that adults can enjoy too. It's very, very hokey. I mean, it's men in rubber suits and giant robots and all this other shit. It's it's Japanese entertainment translated into English and brought to kids to sell toys. It's not this deep thing. There's no, there's no pathos to the Power Rangers. Alright? Um, it's just... A, that's a shitty to toy commercial for kids. And it was great then, and it doesn't hold up now if you go back and watch it. It's fun, and I still look at it every... You know, it's on Netflix. I'll watch an episode here and there. It's fun. But it's not anything more than that. And this movie is trying to make it be something more than it is. And I don't think that's a good idea. I know personally I'm not going to want to go see it. If I get enough review or enough requests from the fans of this channel, I guess we'll review it for the show. But if there was no world-class bullshitters, I would never go see this movie. I don't support the idea of digging up a dead franchise. I mean, Power Rangers has moved on ever since Mighty Morphin. And people go, oh, but Power Rangers has always been for kids, Jeff. Why are you so cynical? The Mighty Morphin were for kids in the 90s. Then you went to Zeo, then you went to Space, then you went to all that other shit. And what are they, are on Power Rangers Time Cop or something? I don't know and I don't care. But if you're trying to make a kids movie, make it based on the newest iteration of Power Rangers. If you're trying to cash in on nostalgia, which is what they're doing, they're going for the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Fuck, they even got the theme song in the trailer. That's the only part I thought sounded cool in the whole thing. They had some stupid uh, song with some woman singing, and it was all, like, Dutch tilts and real dark, and it had blue filters on everything. And then it ended with the Go Go Power Rangers theme. So that was the only theme that sounded, or thing that sounded cool in this entire trailer. And I'm just going to end it there, because I could go on for an hour bitching why I don't like this idea, and I probably will at a later date. So... This is Jeff of World Class Bullshitter signing out. I hope you're enjoying Schlocktoberfest. We're getting together tonight to record another drunk commentary podcast. So if you like those, be prepared because this one is a fucking doozy. And uh, stay tuned. Subscribe, like, comment, give us a thumbs up. And uh, thank you.